AI is taking over the industry. Superconductors are now kind of a real thing and it's gonna change compute forever. Space is space. There's so much going on. Where does JavaScript and web dev fit in in this increasingly chaotic world? Is JS just going to die in favor of the native technologies necessary for all these fun new things? I don't think so. Let's talk a bit about why. If you've kept up on tech Twitter at all in the past year, you've probably seen the utter chaos that we're going through, in particular with superconductors and AI stuff. AI is really exciting because it allows us to make trivial things much more efficient. And let's be real, ChatGPT is generating a lot of code for people nowadays. I don't think the code's all great, but it's certainly meeting a bar that people are using to ship it. I've seen it used well as a learning tool as well. When it comes to superconductors, the ways in which we do compute are going to change fundamentally. Having something at room temperature that can conduct conditionally allows us to make some crazy new chips that we've never thought of before. And theoretically, compute's going to get much faster in the near future. With all of that, where does JS fit in? Are you wasting your time if you're focused on web dev and web dev technologies? I don't think so. I just fundamentally don't. There's a big reason why. All of the these things are still going to need interfaces, ways for us to interact with them. And what we've seen over the last 10 years is a strong move towards web dev technologies for interface design and not just on the web. Obviously, with tools like React, building interactive applications on the web is better than ever before. But that's not why they're using React for Tesla. That's not why they're using React for SpaceX. That's not why they're using React in video games now for UI. That's not why they're using React to build a 3D application. React is a really powerful primitive for assembling user experience experiences. And when it comes to making a good UI that a person uses to interface with a thing, React is still really hard. And the benefits of using tools that are specialized for creating user experiences is that you can make a good user experience faster. When the DICE team was figuring out how to do UIs in Battlefield, they already had created an engine called Frostbite. That engine didn't have much in terms of primitives to make a menu in it. And they had the choice. They could make the primitive in the DICE engine, in Frostbite itself, to make menus so that both they and other developers who use Frostbite would have access to it, or they could use the tools that they were familiar with to make a good UI quickly. They chose the latter, and they actually built React into the engine. When you're playing a Battlefield game and you're going through those menus, there's a good chance those menus are powered by React itself, and they're actually rendering often a web view inside of the game because that's how they're able to make the changes and build the good user interface as quick as they need to build it. They could have made yet another menu system like every other engine has, spend months building it, and then have the team spend months trying to make a UI that works in it with a ton of back and forth and chaos, or they can hand the UI team the tools they're used to, React and web tech, and they can build a really good interface in their games. This is the reality many, many developers are realizing exists, and I don't think AI is going to change that anytime soon. If anything, the standout part of your application is no longer going to be that you had enough devs to build it, it's going to be the experience you provide is good. And as AI tools get more and more powerful in the code they're writing gets better and better, the need for good user experiences goes up as well. And as we see things things like superconductors making stuff way more powerful or AI making developers way less useful, the expectation of applications continuing to get better and for the experiences we have to continue being better is still going to be there. And that's what web dev enables. It lets us make good things fast and effectively for users to interface. And I simply don't see a future where that isn't the case. None of these crazy things that are happening in the developer and tech world change the fact that users need to have good experiences. And that's why, generally speaking, I'm still betting on web dev and I am not leaving JavaScript anytime soon. So if you're looking at superconductors and thinking, man, I'm betting on the wrong stack right now, go get into manufacturing of silicon. It's fun and nerdy and I was into it for a long time. But if you're considering leaving, not because you're excited about the other side, rather because you're nervous that this one's going away, people still ship COBOL. Web dev isn't going anywhere. It's still growing year over year and we're still finding all the incredible things we can do with these tools. So stop worrying, keep shipping and making incredible things. If you're building cool shit, you will eventually find success. So keep building, keep doing cool stuff. And if you're struggling figuring out how to set goals for yourself as a developer, I'll pin a video in the corner right here all about that. Thank you as always. Peace, nerd.